Alright, problems three, four, and five, or sorry, three, five, and six, um, deal with confidence intervals in different forms. A lot of times we express confidence intervals um, in this uh, set notation form with the lower number is less than uh, the proportion is less than the upper number. All right. So we're wanting this to express it in p hat plus or minus uh, this e, which we call the margin of error. All right. Now this deals with sample proportions. All right. Remember the p is the population proportion, p hat's the sample proportion. So what this confidence interval is even saying is that we are some certain percent confident that the true population proportion falls in between these two numbers, uh, 0.111 or 0.115. It's somewhere in there. Okay. Now, right dead in the center of this uh, interval is p hat. It's right in the middle. Okay, so to find the number in the middle, it's how you find any number in the middle. You just add the two numbers together and divide by two. So we're going to add 0.111 and 0.555, and then we're going to divide. Ooh, scary. Then we're going to divide that by two. All right. So 0.333 is the p hat. That's the number in the middle. All right. Now the margin of error. The margin of error is the distance from the middle out to these two numbers. So it's the distance from p hat to 0.555, or it's the distance from p hat to 0.111. All right, now you can easily just find it from by taking either one of those 0.555 and subtracting uh, p hat. So there's our number 0.222. Uh, but another way you can find it is instead of add these two numbers together and divide by two, uh, take the difference between the two numbers. So 0.555 minus 0.111 and then divide by two. Right? That will also give you that same number. Okay. So if you have to compute p hat first or the number in the middle first, then basically the easiest way is to take that number and subtract the upper number or the lower number, either one. Um, but you can always um, just do a sign change. Right? Uh, when you see these, when you want to write something in this order, just take the two numbers together, add them together, divide by two, and then <coughs> change that sign from plus to minus and divide by two. All right. And again there's a quick easy way to do it. There's your 0 0.333, 0 0.222. All right. So we added them, divided by two, then we subtracted them and divided by two. All right. That's uh um the the quick easy little formula to do it in. All right. Five similar to that uh, except it's just giving it the, the interval in a different way. Instead of giving it to you, this is less than this is less than this, it's just giving you interval notation, the lower number, the upper number. All right. So they want us to find p hat and the margin of error. So they want us to find the number in the middle, just like we did before. All right. So add them together. All right. If you add bigger number plus smaller number and divide by two then you'll be able to use um, this second enter feature to bring that back up and change that to a negative. All right, so there's p hat 0.713 and then to get the margin of error again just go back change that plus to a minus Right, second enter, second enter, and then change your plus to a minus, and then divide by two. All right, 0.038. All 
Alright, number six. So this is different than the other ones. Alright. Six is kind of, I mean, three and five are basically the exact same question with just different um, notation. Question six is um, kind of a combination of one and two and then what we just did in the last, uh, the very end of weeks nine, ten, and eleven. So we got a 98% confidence interval, we've got a sample size, and we've got a proportion uh, of successes, kind of like the binomial distribution. Alright, so what we have to do here when we have, when they're wanting us to find uh, the margin of error. Um, the margin of error in this case is that critical Z value that we get from this multiplied by the standard deviation of the possible sample proportions right and remember we said in class that the uh, standard deviation here is the square root of P or in this case P hat um, times 1 minus this which would just be 60 percent all divided by that sample size right and once we find that standard deviation, we have to multiply it by the critical number. All right. So this notation right here, Z alpha over 2, all right, P hat times Q hat, which Q hat is 1 minus P, divided by N. All right. That's the notation. That's the standard deviation of the sample proportions. But we have to multiply it by that critical number. All right. So that's what we're after here. All right. So to find this, remember just like we did back here on number one, to find this critical number, we use the inverse normal. All right, and we have to put it in a parentheses, one minus that 0.98. Now you can always just do that in your head and say it's 0.02 then you wouldn't need the parentheses, the extra parentheses. But don't forget to divide it by 2. You always got to divide it by 2 to get the critical number. Alright, so there's our critical number. Negative 2.32634 blah 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 blah. Alright, now, what are we going to do to that? Again, if you look at this formula, that's what we've just found right here, the z alpha over 2. We need to multiply that by the square root of p hat which is 0.4 times q hat which is 1 minus p hat which would be 0.6 and we divide that by this the 1393 uh, right so we're going to take this number that we just had we're going to multiply by the square root of p hat point Four times q hat point six, and we're going to divide that by the 1393. All right, hit enter. Again, you don't need the minus sign here, so all we're looking at is point zero three zero five to four decimal places. Point zero three zero five. All right, let's do another one just to make sure we got it. 90% confidence. There's our sample size. There's our p hat. All right, so we need to come up with the z alpha over 2 first. So inverse normal does that. All right, 90% confidence. That's 0 0.9. 1 minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 divided by 2. Right, so there's our um, critical number. All right, now we multiply that by the square root. This is a decimal, 0.45 times 1 minus this is a decimal. So 1 minus 0.45 is 0.55. And then divide that by that sample size, 1111. 1, 1, 1. 
again, don't worry about your negative sign. 0 0.0246. One last time. Just make sure you got it. Alright, critical number. 98%, so that's 0.98. 1 minus that is 0 0.02. Alright, that's what's left over in the tails. We divide that by 2 to get the area in each tail. Alright, and there's a critical number. Alright, now we're going to take that and multiply by square root this number is a decimal 0.35 multiply it by 1 minus this so multiply by 0.65 right 0.35 from 1 is 0.65 and then divide by sample size 1563 all right and there's our number don't worry about the negative 0 0.0281 